Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, here I am outside my favorite restaurant, the London Curry House. I was just over there today. I had some lunch. It was an awesome time. And uh, now I'm just out. Now I know it's today's Vlog Thursday. Uh, I was going to take you to a haunted cemetery today, but I've ended up having a lot of readings come in, so I'm not going to be able to go because it's going to take too long. So I thought, well, you know what? There's some other amazing stuff close to where I live that uh, I thought we'd go see. Um, as you can see here behind me, it's just a beautiful walkway here, a tree-lined little walkway. And uh, we're going to go up and visit my moon temple. Now, for those of you who have been here a while, you know all about the Moon Temple. But we have a lot of new people who have never seen the Moon Temple. So I thought today for our vlog, we'd take a little journey and stroll up to the Moon Temple. So come on along. Today's sky is rather overcast. Look at that lone bird up there. It's very dark. Clouds are gathering. I brought my umbrella along because you never know when it's going to storm. Where I live, it seems to storm almost every afternoon in the summertime, so I just travel with an umbrella. But we're going to go up and see our Mystic Moon Temple. This is a little treasure that I discovered a few years ago out on a walk. You know how I'm always saying, guys, you've got to get out and walk, because when you walk, you discover things. And the Moon Temple is one of my discoveries. It's a hidden little treasure right in the middle of the city and yet nobody ever goes there so come on along yeah, it looks like the winds picking up here these flags uh, in this neighborhood are blowing but we're almost there we're going to just round the corner here and look down the street and look what we got guys can you see it here <gasps> look up ahead there's our moon temple can you see it it's got a domed top but well, we're going to take a little stroll up that way. Well, Tubies, here we are. Welcome to my mystic moon temple. Check it out. Isn't this amazing? This is done in a Greco-Roman style, which I just think is really spectacular. Here you can get a sense of what it's like behind me here. Isn't that something? Let's go on up and take a look. Looks like I got a lot of maintenance people here today. Ah, they finally got the temple open. For a while it was closed off because of some repairs. But isn't it beautiful? I come here all times of the day. There's never anybody here. I've even held rituals in this temple. Look inside. Isn't that beautiful? The sun, or excuse me, the moon and the sun both rise over like that direction. That's the east. And uh, at night, well, tonight's going to be cloudy, but if it were a clear night, we could come out here and watch the moon rise. But tonight's going to be raining, so we won't be able to do that. But I thought you'd like to just take a little stroll around. You can look here. It's got beautiful benches here around the temple. Beautiful brick. Alexandria. Virginia is famous for its brick. All of Old Town had brick sidewalks. And many of the surrounding communities make brick sidewalks. It's like the tradition. It's the symbol of our area. But here's this classical Greco-Roman temple, which I've made into a temple for the goddess Diana, or Isis. Well, Isis and Diana to me are the same. It's the great moon mother. But I've come out here before and cast a circle and set of candles in here and statues. I'd like to buy a big giant large size statue of the goddess and put it out here in this temple. I think it would just be spectacular. So there you go. Here we are. Well I thought today we'd just sit and do a little invocation to the goddess. How does that sound to you guys? Want to do that? I got Come Louie on. out with me today. Took him to lunch and on this little stroll. And he's really enjoying being out with me. By the way, did you see my Louis Vuitton shirt I'm wearing? 
got the style and profile. Ooh, it's kind of bright out here. I think I better put my shades back on. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, got all my silver pentacle. I think being at the moon temple is a sacred, mystical experience. I love it here. I really do. Well, let's do an invocation. You know, I love my Louis Vuitton bag because I can carry everything in it. I got this wonderful book here that I brought with me called Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary. Now, those of you who have been following my channel know I love Scott Cunningham, and I do a lot of work from his, his rituals and stuff. But uh, I thought today we would do a chant to the moon goddess. You know, the other night I was out walking, and we're in the first quarter moon, which means the moon is a waxing crescent. It was so beautiful. You know, the crescent was big in the sky. It was a little cloudy, but it still glowed brightly. And I just love it. And uh, I thought we'd do the new moon chant to Diana. Here it is. It's on page 155 of this book. And... Um, it goes like this, waxing, waxing, growing, growing, Diana's power is flowing, flowing, waxing, waxing, growing, growing, Diana's power is flowing, flowing, waxing, waxing, growing, growing, Diana's power is flowing, flowing, waxing, waxing, growing, growing. Diana's powers growing, growing. Waxing, waxing, growing, growing. Diana's powers flowing, flowing. Waxing, waxing, growing, growing. Diana's power is flowing, flowing. There's another wonderful prayer in this book called the Isis Invocation. I thought we'd do that now as well. Isis of the moon, you who are all that ever was, and all that is and all that shall be, come, veiled queen of the night, come as the scent of the sacred lotus, charging my circle with love and magic. Do descend upon my circle, I pray, O oh, blessed Isis. Amen. So mote it be. So as you can see, I have a really wonderful little sacred mystical temple here. I come here and do rituals all the time, and I never get bothered by anyone. So I'm very blessed. Here's our temple again. You'll notice the beautiful greenery around it. They have gardeners come in and take care of all the greenery. It's really beautiful. Look at these lovely flowers here. The bees love it. Throughout the year, they have all sorts of different plants. Over here, you can see are some beautiful flowers as well. There's some daisies popping up. <laughs> and some beautiful, I don't know if these are roses. I think these are roses, actually. How perfect for the goddess temple. And look at this, guys. These little flowers are like pentagrams. Now you can't tell me somebody that's uh, not magical hasn't been here. I tell you, I think that whoever did this was working with some magic. I do, I think there's some mojo going on here. Flowers, these roses are a symbol of the goddess and the pentagram is also a goddess symbol. And as you see here, we have our beautiful classical temple. It's amazing how it's right here in the middle of a neighborhood. And yet, whenever I come here, I never see a soul. And I come out here at night and there's not a soul around. Nobody ever bothers me. And it's just beautiful. Well, I'm sure glad you came along on our little adventure today. We're gonna do some more stuff. Hopefully next week we can go to the cemetery or some other place like that. We'll see how the day goes. But uh, I'm so glad you guys are here. And I want to just say thank you. Thank you for being part of Spirit Channel. Thank you for being part of my world. You guys are the best. And I really, really love you. Listen, if you want to help me out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. And if you get a chance, pop over to my website and check out my bookstore. I've got books that I've written over there that will help you with your spirituality. 
If you're drawn to Wiccan spirituality, you might want to check out my book called Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. It's kind of a synopsis of the past 20 years of things I've thought about and meditated on. You might really like it. Anyways, I'm so blessed to be here at my moon temple, and I hope that wherever you are, you'll go out and seek out a sacred place for yourself as well. You know, get out and walk, and as you walk, you'll find all sort of amazing things. You might even discover your own little temple like I found here. You guys are the best. Listen, Psycho Bob loves you. Mm, sending you my blessings. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We'll be back here tomorrow. It's Friday, and we're going to try to have UFO Friday, so we'll see you then. Until then, may you always blessed be.